B, let's add our Jumbo Hotspot Pi Star system to our ICOM ID52. First thing we're going to do is get our Wi-Fi, our router details into our Jumbo Hotspot. So get your Jumbo Hotspot, slide the SD card out, put it in your PC, and then go to this page. I'll put the link in, Pi Star Builder. Put in the username here and the password of your router. Click Submit. And you'll end up with this uh, WPA file here, which needs to go into your SD card. So the best thing is click show in folder uh, and then it will be highlighted. Right click and then send it to your SD card like so. And it will be listed here when it's plugged into your PC. OK, next thing we need to do is find, actually try and talk. Once you've plugged it in, it's turned it on. Wait about five minutes. We need to talk to it. So how do we find it? Do this. Just type in pi dash s t a r and a slant and hit enter and that will come up with this no mode defined now click configuration probably ask you for the parcel which is uh pi dash star then raspberry and you'll get this page at the moment it's got information but it's not our information so we just get our call sign in there m0 fxb get the frequency you're going to use as well here so I use 433.550 that's what I like to use so we'll get that in there 550 okay and then apply those changes and then that'll take a couple of minutes to reboot and then we'll go on to the next section of applying changes we now need to tell it what mode we're going to use so we're going to use D star and we've got the frequency in there and we're going to need to choose the radio modem type now look here radio modem type so drop it down and the, this is the one to use STM32 and ends GPIO so make sure that's exactly that one don't worry about all the rest for now that's fine so we've got that in there we've got D star and then we apply those changes Make sure I haven't missed anything. Oh, yeah, we need to select OLED as well, screen here, OLED type 3. And then we'll apply those changes. Once the changes have been applied, you'll see that it's D star. We've we'll selected OLED here, so the screen should start working now. We've got our frequency, our, we've got the correct modem selected. And down here, mine is defaulted at reflector 1 Charlie, so we'll leave it at that for now. Uh, so this is all correct. So now just select dashboard and you'll have all the stations coming in here. Let's add our um, hotspot into this ID52. So what we'll do, we'll go back, go to, let's go to the normal screen first. So there's your normal screen. I'm in single mode by holding down the um, main jewel here. But you don't have to be, now you, you have to not be in DR. So if DR mode is this, that's DR. Come out of DR, normal VFO mode. VFO's up here, memory here. So you want to go menu, then go through and select memory. And then go to repeat a list. And then I've already renamed this. Now select it and now hit quick spec so you can edit it. So we're going to go edit. Edit. And I won't allow you to do this if you're in DR mode, so you've come out. So it's a DV repeater. The name we're going to call it, uh, let's clear all this, we're going to call it hot, hot, Hotspot, yeah. So we go, because it is my main hotspot, so H, L-M-N-O-P, we'll, actually we'll go, we'll abbreviate a bit, because I'll call it Hotspot 1, L-M-N-O-P, Hot. There you go, PQRST. Hot, oh, hotspot, that'll do. And let's put a number in there. To get numbers, you just think, click. Is it this one? Oh, I can't remember now. Oh, just go backwards. So one. So we'll go enter. So we've named it. Sub name. Let's just call it Pi for Pi Star. P I. You don't really need the subname. We'll get it in there. 
Right, now the important bits. So, call sign, that's got to be me. So, we go M. I know this is painfully boring, but we want a number here for zero. X. B. B. B, and then you go all the way across until it stops, and then you put in a G. No, a B, sorry, B. Enter, and then same one. This is the one that needs the G, so we'll clear it all. We'll just go H, so you take it L, M. Zero. Sorry about this. Right, there it is. Zero F That's for receiving WR in the background. Local repeat of B. And then we'll go it needs to be all the way along G. M zero F X B G. Group would we'll keep that where it is. Now the frequency we just need to change that a bit. Four three three five fifty from my hotspot. And uh, duplex you know, anyone plus or minus, but it needs to be set to zero. Offset zero. So you just put turn it to zero and then enter it. Approximate then latitude. No, I can't remember mine, I just put I think it's like fifty-two. And I think that one's like twenty-seven for me. We're not in Japan. <laughs> twenty-seven. We'll enter it. Well I'll get it better. UTC offset is one. What well, we are the other side of the world. Enter, then overwrite. Yes. Okay. So with a bit of luck, we should be able to get our hotspot. Let me just try and select it. So we'll go menu, DR mode. And then we want to try and find that. Repeat a list, find it there, and then we're trying to find it. Ah, hotspot. There you go. So now we're going to go from the from here, we're going to select to the two, and we're going to hit select use no, reflector, then use reflector. So let's get out, because I know we're receiving. Ah, there you are, straight away. We'll get in my um, hotspot. So let's see if we can do a test. M0FXB brake station. All right, let's call until we get in. XB, this is WHU US in Western New York. You're coming in 
five nine plus here. Okay, well, thanks very much for the test. I think we've got a, a bit of a world exclusive here. Uh, my call sign is M0FXB. I'm using an ID52 that's been imported from Japan to the UK. And you're my first contact. Now, are we on Reflector 30 or Reflector 1 Charlie? Uh, back to you, name's Andreas. M0 exit. This is WA2UUS HT for me. And, uh, and that's how I started on D-Star. Um, you're coming in very well. And uh, best wishes to you. I don't want to keep you if you're doing signal reports. Uh, MCFXB, this is WA2UUS in Western New York, USA. Yeah, thank you very much for the, uh, the for the good report. So yeah, this radio is a color screen version of the 51. Uh, you can't buy it anywhere in the world apart from Japan at the moment. Um, so I've been sneaky and managed to import this one and it's all set up. I've managed to convert it to English speaking. Um, one, bit by bit, I've added my local repeater in the UK and my hotspot and the GPS is working amazing. The screen is black and white. So thanks for the contact. Uh, if anyone else wants to come in and um, have a contact on this ID52, uh, because it's going it's gonna to be it's going to go on to YouTube as well. Uh, back to you for a final. M zero exit. This is WA two US. I'm sorry I didn't catch your name or QTH. Um, the name here, by the way, is Joel Julian Oscar Colima. QTH Buffalo, New York, near Niagara Falls on the Canadian border. Uh, well, that's really interesting. You know, the ID-52, you have to order in advance here. Um, but uh, I'm very happy with the ID-51A. I realize the uh, screen is much better on the 52 from what I've read, but uh, I'm not moving for a while. I have, uh, I, well, anyway, uh, you take care. This is WHUUUS73. Yeah, okay, thanks for the contact. Yeah, I also have the 51 plus 2, and I wouldn't sell that. It's a lovely radio. It's quite a bit smaller to hold than than the, the 52. The 52 is quite a weight in your hand. It's quite a big radio because uh, it's got quite a large color screen. Um, so I, I wouldn't say it's better. It's just a different way. It's a bit, you know, it's, yeah, it's hard to say. It's like, it's color, but it's bigger, but, and it's more, yeah, you, you know what I mean. It's hard to describe, actually. <laughs> So 73, all the best, and I'll, I'll stand by. If anyone calls me, I'll come back. M0FXB. Thank you. Uh, this is WA2US73. Right, okay. Well, no one came back there. So that is pretty much a world, I would say, exclusive content. <laughs> Yeah, no, no GPS coming from that station, but can you see how it appears Seven, on the screen? Four, ah, I need to change that language as well, I think. Um, that was like the, the, for the speech. Two. Look, it's announcing. Seven, it? four, it's actually Eight. announcing who's coming. Yeah, thanks very much. Yeah, I've got you. Actually, it's been an out now. It's the first D DR contact after my friend there. And it's started announcing the call signs to me. So I haven't turned that off yet. But thanks for the, the good report. Um, are we on Reflector 30 or Reflector 1? Back to you. So we need to tur turn off the speech uh, stuff. On the so. dashboard, you're saying 001 Charlie. Um, uh. And that's what it seems to be your, um, when you're, uh, you're keeping your radio, it's uh, linking to uh, Reflector 001 Charlie. Okay, I'll leave you. Uh, I, I see a few stations in Keynote. They may have got a chat for you, but uh, 
It's one that you know, it sounds uh, really nice. I'm glad you got it sorted. And uh, we'll let you go back to the other stations. You stay safe, Andrea. I'll speak to you soon. MW6, AWA. Yeah, you stay stay safe as well. Thanks very much for the contact. So, um, m 0 FXP standing by for a contact on a ID 52 in the UK. No, that's all quiet. So, okay, well, as you can see, D-Start is working amazing. It was popping up with a window showing GPS, but yeah, that station wasn't transmitting any GPS. Um, so that's pretty good. Now, GPS on this thing, go menu, go GPS here, GPS info, there it is there. But what I'm gonna do next, I think, is upload the there is a CSV file, repeater list, for this radio. I've already downloaded it. So I think I'll do that next. Um, but just to show you, this radio also does picture transmit. There, look. If I know how to get out of it, that is. <laughs> um, it has a broadcast radio. So FM radio on. There you go. Nothing on that at the moment. Oh, there you go. Let's just turn it down. There you go. There you turn it off. Yeah. There's WR on the B band. It, it shows WR. If I go on the A band, it was still showing the DR hotspot there and the photograph stuff. So, how do I get the photograph stuff off? Do I just reselect it? I'll work out how to get that off. But yeah, pretty cool. 7-3, thanks for watching. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you find it helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe. 7-3, all the best.